What is up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Natalie Champagne. How's it going, guys? We are really stoked for our Midnight Sword and Shield. Do you have the one picked out that you oh, want, Natalie? Oh, this one's the Cincino for sure. For sure. Yeah, this Excellent. One our Sword and Shield <laughs> pre-release happening here at Full Grip Games. Really stoked about it. We've got four players that are going to be opening their kits on stream for us, of which Natalie is going to be the first, and then we're going to have all four players show off the decks that they have built for the pre-release, and then of course we've got our three-round pre-release tournaments going to be streamed as well uh, for you guys to uh, to scope out. So did I hear we've got almost 40 players here tonight? Apparently, yes. It looked like pretty 39, yeah. something like that. That's awesome. So an amazing turnout here at Full Grip Games. Big shout out to everybody who made the trip out. We've got another pre-release happening tomorrow, I believe. Yes. So uh, this should be an awesome weekend filled with uh, fun and exciting sword and shield content. Thank you all for being here on stream. If you're on YouTube, thank you for watching the video. Thank you to AAB for those gifted subs getting us kicked off here uh, for the stream. And Josh for that sub as well. Natalie, let's get cracking with this pre-release kit. Watch so Natalie, me rip this. this tell us a little bit about uh, what you're looking for most from this set. I would like the Cincino promo, if possible. Okay. And I would also like some non-hollow uh, Professor Magnolias. Sounds good. Yep. That's some non-hollow like. Professor Magnolias. Yep, in the kits. Now, do you think that you would prefer the non-hollow ones to the hollow ones? Yes, I would like the non-hollows. In the deck? Yes. I don't have any nails. This is going to be difficult. Let me flail around with these. There we go. Let's go. Let's see. All the promos are really good, though. This is probably some of the best promos we've ever had. Honestly, there's oh, the pro- Oh, I told you. Dude. I knew it. I sensed it. The third one was definitely it. Insane. Oh, we got him. All right, so Natalie got the Cincino. All right, let's see. Show off that Cincino a little that bit. Good? I can pull it up. Sorry, yeah. thanks. I don't so know I've got the is. nice camera here in the studio today so that we can show off the uh, cards oh, that we, go. we got. Check that out. Nice. The Cincino promo. With the make do ability, love the hollow pattern on that, and the nice sword and shield logo there. That's really cool. Yeah, I like the hollow. It's like yeah, the lines. They did the lines like really nice. It's like the uh, the old black and white hollow, but not as like warpy and, and stuff. It's right. really cool. It yeah, does I like remind it. me of that a lot. Um, I'll open the evolution kit first. See sure. What's in here. Right. So we got Cincino, Snorlax. Evolution Incense, Lucky Egg, Ooh, nice Amarni, Hop. You got the three Rillaboom Grookey, line. Three Grookey. Let me raise up. Yes, I got the Rillaboom line. Two Thwacky, one Rillaboom. It's pretty cool. Uh, the 60 HP Mincino, Pokey Kid. Ooh, a Quick, quick ball. ball. Nice. Another Hop. Oh, two, oh, three Galarian Zigzagoon, two Galarian Laloon, and two Galarian Obstagoon. And a, a code. Nice. All right. Um, so that's cool. Let's see the Rillaboom. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two Grass Energy cards attached into one of your Pokemon that shuffle your deck, kind of like Vika Ray or uh, Vika Volt. It reminds me of Vika Volt yes. from the Vika Ray deck. Man, I love that deck. Yeah. So that's cool. That'll be really good. I think that seems like really good in a pre-release. For sure. I mean, energy acceleration, <laughs> energy acceleration seems busted. Even the Cincino has got a nice little energy acceleration yeah, attack. Yeah, You draw the, some uh, cards. For sure. All right. Let's and see. drawing cards seems really good in a pre-release as well. A lot of times, you know, what ends up losing you the game is just not having access right. to, you know, the certain Pokemon you want or the certain cards you want. So. All right. Uh, let's first. Here's a code. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's nice. Like, uh, I think it's really good that they do the evolution kits now. Like, pre-releases used to be just kind of... You, you know, you usually didn't really get a, a real deck going. Right. Uh, anybody who got, like, an EX used to just play one EX and 39 energy. Sorry. Uh, For sure. Blue, Shelter, got Reverse Yamper. Ooh! Yo! We got more Pico! Check that got out! It. Insane, chat. Insane. More Pico V. Look at that. First pack hype. That looks insane. These cards look absolutely beautiful as well. Look at the holograph on that. I like the... The black border. Amazing. And yeah, I love nice. the black border on that. Nice. And then we have the new fighting energy. Haunter. Vitality band. It's not fine band. Vitality band, yeah. I know, right? Reboot. Um, cool. All right. Let's move these guys. 
you know, insane rip. I'm glad we got to see a Pokemon. Nice, D. yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten a. I haven't. The last couple times that we've done this, I don't think I've gotten. For a sure, our last couple of pre-release right. openings have been, uh, you know, no GXs. <laughs> right. Galarian Ponyta is a nice artwork. Cottony, I like this cottony. I like the grass cottony for Spore sure. Or bunny. Oh, I skipped a card. Silicobra. Silicobra. Feeble. Or beetle. This card. I think people talk about this card. I don't know what it does though. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. Oh, it's Chip Chip. Kind it's of. Chip Chip on a kind stage of. two. Yes. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about the new energy for a second too. I, look at that. Ooh. Insane. I like it. I love the new energy with like the little like fiery pattern. That looks so cool. Yeah. Deck trio. Oh, new switch art. That's nice. New energy retrieval. I like the new energy retrieval. Yeah. That's nice. Here's code. Sick. Nice. Yo, the more Pico V deck. Now, I think this card is really good in pre release. Yeah, it seems pretty good in a pre release. I mean, 170 hit points, and it's got Spark, which is actually a, a 20 damage, 20 code? snipe. Uh, attack for a colorless energy, which is super good. Yeah, Grookey. And Mud we Brady. got J.R. Hooper in the chat, Hooper. gifting four subs. Thank you so much, J.R. Hooper. Let's go. Pinkerchin. I think that's how you say that. Pinkerchin. <laughs> Vulpix. Cinderace. Corviknight. Water energy. Sea King. Another thwacky. Yo. Ooh, Lucky Egg. Lucky Egg seems Lucky really egg good. Lucky Egg seems really good right now. Especially, well, it is good, but in, in pre-release especially. For sure. All right, last pack. Welcome new subs to the channel. Thank you so much again, JR Hooper. We're getting some hype going for the Sword and Shield pre-release. All right. Bullpix. Nicket. Baltoy. Chinchow. Crabby. Ooh, another Lucky Egg. Or Insane. Lucky egg. You're going to be drawing so many yeah, cards. Yeah, I'm going to be drawing lots of cards. Cramorant. Dark Energy. Another that wacky. new energy looks so good. Another Lucky no Egg. No way. A double, you have four a double Lucky eggs. eggs. Double. And here's my code. All right, sweet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I'm going to see if I can awesome. fit this more Pico in a deck. Well, thank you so much, Natalie, yeah, no for uh, sharing your busted free release kit with us. And we're going to get our next guest up here. I see Jesse Parker is on deck. Come on down, Jesse Parker. I've got the, I've got this down to a science now. Uh, oh. Before I have. Uh, is that the Frost Moth? I you picked. Listen, Jesse. You picked. No, that's there it. There are dude. three. That's it. Three I think kids you know. remain. All, All right, right, Jesse. What are you hoping for out of your pre-release kit, my man? I want the Frost Moth, dude. The Bust Moth. Dude. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I really want a Zacian. That'd be cool. Yo, yeah, Zacian. That is seems like the money card. You it know? really is. It really is. That card has been so hot. People love metal Pokemon. Oh yeah. Uh, it's metal like Pokemon Zacian is like the metal Pokemon that. Oh yeah. Duskmane Necrozma never was. Right, right, right. Yeah, Duskmane. People were really excited. All right, Duskmane was pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We got the Rillaboom. Sick. Woo I'll take it. Honestly, I like all of them, so I'm not really sad about any of them. I mean, I'd, I'd be happy with any of them. So For sure. They're all good. Yeah, yeah. Let's bust it open here. Excellent. Now, the Rillaboom, we did see that there, I think it was revealed, there's going to be a Rillaboom VMAX coming out in the next set. Yeah, that looks crazy. It can do like 280 damage. Insane amount of damage. That's a lot of and damage. pairs well with this. Uh... You guys aren't seeing that. Sorry. <laughs> That's for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Rillaboom, Snorlax, Evolutionary Essence, Lucky Egg, Professor's Research. Okay. Oh, let's man. go. I mean, honestly, this is the first time you're seeing the new cards like in real life, and yeah, they look pretty. Yeah, I like it. It's a very clean look. Like the borders, the bezels are thinner on the like the car on like the the picture of the car. I don't know. It just looks different, you know. Oh, the card art is definitely stylized. It, it like pops more. I don't know. A little bit differently. Yeah. I like the look of the trainers. They look very yeah, clean they for do, sure. For sure, yeah. All right, so that's cool. I'm happy about those. Those are all, like, great cards that I want to use. So. Yeah, exactly. Marnie. There's a lot of value in these pre-release kits. Uh, okay, so we got a Rillaboom line to go with our Hollow Rillaboom. And that Hollow uh, the pattern is really cool. I like that. Uh, it's a lot cleaner look than the one before, I think. Uh, we got a Random Meowth. All right. The Random Meowth. <laughs> just, just, oh, okay, there's, there okay, is there's some Metal the Meowth. <laughs> okay, uh, Rotom Bike. Oh, Quick Ball. Okay, so we got some good cards. For uh, sure. Marnie, Pokey Kid. And then we got a... By Sharp Line that does 30 more damage for each of your bench pawn yard. Oh, whoops. 
Uh, yeah, so that seems kind of cool. So probably the deck we're going to build right there. Sick. So let's uh, move Shoot. that up to the side. Yep. All right, let's get this first pack open. All right, now I gotta make said, sure I not. Zashian would be sick. Zashian would be sweet. Metal yeah. saucers, probably. Oh yeah, metal saucer would be cool. I don't know which way the code's facing, but I don't, I don't want to spoil the color. Okay, so we don't know the color. Ooh, ooh, yeah, gonna... we just take it yeah, off yeah. camera. Yeah. Scoop. There you go. Cool. All right, cool. Yeah. And then we do the pack trick. Oh, the pack trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've been watching your Leonhart, uh, bro. Uh, Bushing up. Been watching my up. Max Mofo. Your All right. Max. <laughs> Uh, okay, we got. Bidet. I don't know how to do the pack trick. Oh, we got no. it. We got. Oh, also, the I think you mentioned it, but this energy art is clean. It looks oh, amazing. Man, that looks so cool. I like yeah. it. Bidet, Hitmon. Bidet. I, I don't know how to say his name. Okay. B. I'm tired. All right, we're going. With, it's Bidet. All right. All right. Hitmon Lee, rare candy. That's pretty cool art. I like that. Yep. Uh, blip, blip bug. Don't like that Pokemon at all. Blip bug. Hey, come on. No hating on blip <laughs> bug. No, that's a Pokemon right there. No, oh, sorry. Let me hold it out here. Yeah, more. thank you, Jesse. Uh, Joltik, Salandit, Joltik Reverse, and... Yo! It's not the one. It's, it's the wrong dog, but I can't be mad. You know, no, it's the wrong, no dog. wrong dogs here, it's the bro. Wrong. He can <laughs> hear you. Zamazenta V. Yeah, Zamazenta, I'm sorry. I like Look your brother better. Look at bro. Hey man, you gotta <laughs> you gotta show that dog some love, Jesse. All right, that is really that's the first time you're seeing a V card too, and that honestly that looks way better than the GX. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's a new card, but like the black border really does it. Like it looks really cool. It reminds me of the Prism Stars, so that's pretty cool. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, definitely gonna put that one over there. Amazing okay. rip, yo! We've been having some fire pulls here so far. Yeah, yeah. So can't ask for much more than that, honestly. All right, let's see. Okay, let's, um, okay. Yep. All right. And four to the front. I'm thinking grass energy. Oh, darn. Oh, that'll go good with him. Okay. Uh, Corvus <laughs> Squire. Yeah, that's how you say it. Great Ball. Oh, whoops. Uh, Potion, Rhyhorn, Mincino, Chinchu, Chincho, Krogunk, Galarian Meowth, Muna, Reverse, and... Copper Raja Hollow. Okay, Ooh. to go with your metal deck, yeah. and you've got the buy sharp to oh, go let's with go. your. I like how this is shaping out. I like this shaping out. For right. sure. All right, For sure, you got a whole deck coming along here. Right, let's get this open here. Yep. One, two, three, four. Skadoosh. Psychic Energy. Drizzile. That ordinary thing's actually insane. Is it? Uh, yeah. Shady dealings. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve, you may search your deck for a trainer card. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, ordinary Rod, Bidet, Cottony, Score Bunny, <laughs> Silicobra, <laughs> Yamper, Grookey, Sinistee Reverse, and Keldeo V. No Yo, way, I got all the luck no today. Let's way. go. I've been. I'm I'm in to get another V. Yo uh, that's not enough. <laughs> way, Caldeo V. I knew it was a good idea insane. to come to Prairie Lakes today. You should have gotten the Frost Moth, bro. Oh man, that's insane. That's awesome. Still, uh, 210 hit point in Prairie Lakes format. 210 yeah, hit point bad. Pokemon, and it's colorless attack. Its attack cost is colorless. It's true. We could do 50 damage for for three energy. That would yeah, be yeah. Idea. You could put it in whatever deck you want. Right. And to be honest, I mean, there is Pokemon Catcher. It does 40 damage for one water. That's so good. That is good. Right. Uh, that is so insane. And uh, I usually say in pre-release format, there's no gust effect, except there is Pokemon Catcher. Uh, oh, yeah, say, true, usual, true. Uh, Usually oh, in pre-release oh, format. Yeah. yeah, right. Um, yeah, usually in pre-release format, your Pokemon on the bench are very safe. Yo, I just looked off. This is another white code. That's kind of insane. <laughs> no way. I'm getting bro. another hollow at least. Yeah, Jesse, right. Jesse picked the fire box. I'm such a sack, dude. Let's go. All right, uh, we got the pal pad. Uh, ooh, the new art. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, Kingler. Okay, here we go. Uh, Rhydon, Maractus, Pikachu, Glaring Meow, Sizz Sizzlypede, Wooloo, Blip Bug Reverse, and Cinderace Hollow. Very yeah, that card's cool. pretty busted, actually. Is it? Let's see. This card, too. Uh, you may attach. Oh, from your discard pile. When you move it to the active, attach two fire from your discard pile. That's really strong, actually. Dude, insane. The Caldeo V and the Zamazenta V. Thank wow, you so much, that's Jesse, awesome. for sharing your uh, pre release kit yeah, with no us. No problem. Go ahead and build your deck, and right, we'll uh, scoop these up bring here. Brady on down. Right, Let's Brady. go, Brady. Do better than two Vs, Brady. I don't think you can. Yo, Natalie got the one V. <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> Jesse oh, upped okay. it to two oh, Vs. Brady's going to get. Brady's going to get three Vs. 
and mm -hmm. Dave is going to get four V maxes. Whoa, it's going to be insane. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get four V Maxes, can't play any of them because he doesn't have any of the V's. <laughs> All right, Brady. Uh, which which box would you like, Brady? Uh, you know, one of these boxes is gonna be the bust, and one is gonna be this one's broken for sure. Oh, you think this is gonna be the broken one? All right. Let's see what you got, Brady. Now, what are you looking forward to the most out of uh, out of your kit? Um, I. Oh, nice. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I would like the Sensino promo. Um, and yeah, just want to find like Marnie's and Professor's researches. For sure. You want the playable trainers. Right. Uh, There's a lot of good stuff. We saw, um, you know, Jesse got a couple of Marnie's, nice. uh, which was really cool. And you get the non hollow uh, versions. The hollow versions come in the packs potentially. I got the Frost Moth. Ooh, the Filth Moth. There it is. Let's go. And then, uh, yeah, Brady, if you would like to save your codes, you can go ahead and slide them off to me. Sick. Cool. All right, so we got Frost Moth, Snorlax, Evolution Incense, Lucky Egg, Hop, Professor's Research. That's good. We got the Grookey. You have a lot of Rillabooms. Thwacky, Rillaboom, a Snom, another Evolution Incense, Great Ball, Marnie. Poke Kid, Sobble, Drizz Isle, and Inteleon. So let's see. Inteleon, uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve on your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two trainer cards. That seems nuts. It is. Um, and then this attack also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Also, pretty good. <laughs> and then the Drizz Isle gets one trainer when you evolve it. Oh, we're in. Dang, that's wild. Yeah. yeah. This that's, seems, seems pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. It's going right. to help you set up your Pokemon, going to help you. You know, get you know certain key cards that you want out of your deck. For sure, it's very consistent. Consistency is busted, uh, especially in pre-release format. It's really all you want. Yep. Okay. We got Krabby. We got the 60 HP and Seamail. Uh, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Pokemon Center Lady. Do a little healing. We got Cloyster. Cloyster do 100 for Water Colors, Colorless. A Lumberry. Oh, an Aurora Energy. There That's you go. Cool. Um, double. Nice. Okay, nothing super great in there, but Aurora Energy, pretty cool. Aurora Energy, Tense. good, nice staple card to have for sure. Right. And the Pokemon Center Lady, you know, could be good, especially if you pull a V. Right, yeah. Because then you get to heal, you know, uh, damage there off of your V Pokemon, and uh, that'd be very strong. Another 60 HP Mencina, that's pretty cool. Oh, the Sencina. Yo, nice. there you go. Oh, a potion, there we go, that's pretty cool. For sure. Sensino is a rare. I didn't realize that. I, I thought it was a hollow rare. Yeah. But yeah, Sensino. Rare card in the set. I think this Nicket is kind of good too. Yeah. It's a uh, attack, shuffle your opponent's hand in their deck, and then they just draw three cards. So, right. Do that like turn one going second. If your opponent has three cards to play with. That seems pretty good. Especially in a pre release where like the decks are going to obviously be more inconsistent. Right. A white code. Ooh. That's it. All right, we got Concertion, <laughs> Vulpix, Snicket, Ball Toy, uh, Chin Chow, Roserade. Dude! That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see it. All right. Talk about the money cards. Yeah. All right, yo, you picked the, you picked it, Brady. Yeah. You picked the kit, man. <laughs> the Professor's Research Full Art Insane card, man. Insane <laughs> card. Don't worry, Dave. Yours has got the three, the four V Maxes in it, bro. You're good to go. I'm just one quick ball. One quick ball all Dave wants, bro. Insane rip there, Brady. These packs have been absolutely been fire. Nuts. Yeah. Absolutely fire. Every kit so Rookie. far has okay. been busted. Goldeen. I think the Sea King is pretty cool. I don't think I got one, but the Seeking with the Goldeen is pretty cool. Nice. Got a hop in there. That'll be good in the pre release, and that's about it. But there you go. <laughs> Excellent. Well, yes. uh, thank you, Brady, for yep. sharing your pre release kit opening with us. The insane full art professor yeah, research. Yeah, that's pretty that I think I'd rather have that than like phenomenal. any of these. So. <laughs> sure. I mean, like that thing is just value. Uh, it's going to be good forever. Right. I mean, what a good card to pull for sure. Uh, you know, easily worth your entry here to the pre release. Yeah. So, like, uh, yeah, I'd say you profited. Me. Right. Uh, and honestly, all the kits have got, like, playable trainers in it. So, yeah, it's like sure. the value is just there for the pre release for sure. Right. All right, Dave. All right. We're going to get Dave back here for the 
fourth kit opening. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how Hopefully you do the Dave best now. for last. <laughs> Hopefully we Hopefully. save the best for last. That would be insane. We had, Nutty. you know, three people pick kits and <laughs> none of them picked the best in the best one. one. <laughs> Foolish fools. For sure. So what are you uh, looking forward to the most out of uh, out of your kit, Dave? Out of my kit? Gee whiz. Or have you had any time to really look at the uh, set list too much? Or do you uh, know what to not, expect? Not really, no. This is actually my first pre-release in like a long time. That so. is awesome, yeah. yeah. It's happy to come out. For sure, man. For sure. <sighs> oh, since you know. Oh, awesome. Out. There you go. Make do. Now, uh, are you familiar with any of the V Pokemon or anything like that? So uh, uh, like, you could be... Like Zem uh, Zashian, of course. Yeah, Everyone wants that boy. Zashian a little bit. Everyone wants that boy. Yeah, for sure. Zekios, Snorlax, Evil Intense, Lucky Egg, Boca Kid. Yo, the research. research cool. Got a, I think every kit had a boom in it. Got a real boom line. Got the 16 and Zeno. Quick ball, I'm happy. You, he did it. <laughs> I did it. I got the quick ball. Yeah, the research, the quick ball, and the Marnie, and Marnie all and the same hop. kit. And was this like a three two two goon line? That's cool. The goons, goon squad. Goon squad. Yep. Now he's got a pretty cool thing. He can uh, prevent damage done by basics. Yeah, you know when he nuts. attacks. So it could be good if you get stuck against a V Pokemon or something for like sure. that. For sure. Yep. Like like V Pokemon thirty nine energy deck for the pre release. Right. Just like throw if you it happen to play against any of those. Like, what you got? Exactly. Then they're just uh, they're just stuck. All right. You can slide me your code. Yeah, are you? Yep, there you go. Perfect. Uh, Mudbray. Hootoot. Pincher. Pincherchin? Pink. Pinkerchin. Pinkerchin. It's like Pinkerton, the Weezer album. Oh, but a okay. Kerchin, yeah. Right. I'll come on, <laughs> uh, Nick it. Ooh, Rev Candy. That's there you cute. go. And Cramorant. Cool. I love the energies. The Metal Saucer. So and another quick, quick ball. ball. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> All right, oh my God. that's good. You're getting, uh, I think, you know, some of the best trainers for sure. Yeah, I'm honestly not a greedy man when it comes to pre-releases. My pre-releases are usually <laughs> just the worst. Well, I think, like, uh, have you been to a pre-release since they started doing these kind of kits? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, my last one, I think, was uh, XY Evolution. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. was forever that ago. That is a while I, I did get a Charizard in that, so we, well, we profited. Good. yeah. So, cute fan. Baltoy, Chicho, Sizzlepede, Galarian Zig, Reverse Thero, and a Mudsdale. Two coins, those 120 times each head is cool. Energy. Pseudo, other gross, and an energy search. It's funny that energy search is back. Yeah, when we have spinner. It seems right. like there's like energy spinner, <laughs> which is like explicitly better. Yes. Professor's letter was explicitly better. So much better. And then we're getting like water bucket. They're just like coming out, which is just literally like a worse <laughs> professor's Oops. letter. But that's fine. You know, I, I don't mind, you know, a little bit of power decrease in some of the cards. That's uh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Balanced. Uh, Judo. Rhyhorn. Riggedy. Rabby, Grookey, Reverse Rhydon, and a Rillaboom. Sick. The Ooh, other Rillaboom. The other, other Rillaboom. Yeah. The starter deck Rillaboom. There you go. Yeah. Fighting Retrieval, Earthorn, and Heatmore. Cool. We got Uno okay. Moss. Uno Moss. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Show me a white coat. A white oh, coat. Oh, it's a white coat. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Got me. Score bunny. Silicobra. A Yamper. Grookey. Reverse Vitality Band. And then DDV. We got a cool. V Pokemon. Let me show that off real quick. Sick. All four kits had a Pokemon V. And in DDV, certainly playable with that watch over ability healing damage from the active awesome rip sure, there dude yeah, sick. sick man and a red boot another hop and a gear yeah a lot of trainers dude yeah you got some good <laughs> stuff awesome dave well cool. thanks so much for sharing your kit with us make sure to yeah. take your uh your codes with you i'm gonna shove those in your box. box yep thanks buddy yep cool and uh looks like we've got natalie Looks ready like with her, her pre-release Got deck. her 40 ready. Yeah, I do got my 40 ready. Got her 40 ready for ready. Excellent. So, Natalie, uh, what did your deck end up looking like? Oh, I 
I wanted to put the more pico in, but I didn't. You didn't put the pico. No. It's got overrun. No, I like. Not even for overrun. Are you, um, are you on the camera? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Let's go. So I, I looked at it. I didn't get anything. Like my old, my pre-release kit was the Obstagoon and the Rillaboom. So yeah. at first I was just gonna do like Rillaboom and the more pico and some lightning energies, and I think I'm gonna go with the Obstagoons. Um, yeah. Let's see, so we got. Two ones in Sino, three, two, two, Obstagoon, yep. uh, Snorlax, and three, two, and one, Rillaboom. And then I have four, eat grass energy, four dark, got a Poke Kid, two hop, one quick ball, one energy retrieval, one Marnie, one evolution incense. Uh, one Vitaly Van, three Lucky Egg. I don't think I'm going to use all three of those. I might just deck out. But I want to <laughs> see one, like, early, you know? So, like, I put all three in. Insane. Yeah. And if you do get paired against a, uh, you know, big Pokemon V yeah, or something. Yeah, you obstruct. You could obstruct. So, so like, the Obstacoon does seem really good there. I don't know. I really want to put the, I'm, and I'm getting cold feet. I should just do more Pico. I just don't know I what think, I, I didn't really get anything, you I know? think you could just, like, cut all yeah. of this. And, right, just play more and Pico. And just play more Pico. And, some... and because you could overrun and do the Zigzagoon and Obstacoon right. Snipes. That and was my thought. You and just then I like, was like play it like Landorus bats. Yeah, I could yeah. do that. Oh, maybe maybe I'll swap it yeah, up. Maybe you quick, get, you know? Uh, you know, you could. Maybe uh, I'll maybe I'll switch it up. I'm gonna go think about it. Audible a little to a But this is bit. my this is my first instinct to go with here. So is the. Uh, I think these seem really good. Those the like, Obstagoon, I think, is the coolest yeah. part of your At first, kit. I was like, oh yeah, Rillaboom and uh, you know more Pico. That's it. And yeah. then I like looked at this and I was like, okay, yeah, I think this is what I do. I think so. so I think the Obstagoon yeah, I might more just, Pico might just could go just with this. win. We'll cut yeah. this and play the more Pico. Yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. see. But I think right now this is what I'm going with. For we'll, sure. We'll see if I change my mind before we start. So, Excellent. All right. Awesome stuff, Natalie. Well, thank you for sharing I'm go your. Get somebody. Uh, thank you for sharing your deck with us, and we will be right back with another pre-release deck that has uh, been built in just a moment thank you all so much for being here make sure to check out fullgripgames.com where we have sword and shield pre-orders for singles up now if you haven't already thank you so much to everybody who's already put in a pre-order at fullgripgames.com for sword and shield pre-orders uh, really stoked about the set these kits were outstanding some of the best pre-release uh, openings i have ever witnessed to back to back to back to back so phenomenal openings so far we're gonna be right back with another deck in just a moment Yo, we got Jesse, just finished building his pre-release deck. Tell us a little bit about the deck you got for us here. All right, so I'm taking full advantage of my two Vs that I pulled. Um, mostly going to focus on the Keldeo, but the Zamazenta, like, I feel like I just have to play it, you know. It seems really good, 230 HP, doesn't give up three prizes, gives up two prizes. Uh, and its attack's not bad, you know, 130, discard a special energy. That second effect... Is probably attached discard a special energy attached to the defending Pokemon. That attack that effect's probably not going to see much use. And the ability to protect against VMAX is probably not going to see much use. But just the hit points and doing 130 seems honestly. Pretty good. If you see a VMAX Pokemon in one of these decks, oh, yeah, I mean, like they pulled the V, someone's and the v playing the V, VMAX, and 38 energies. I'm winning that game. So, you're winning that yep. game, bro. So, uh, we got the Zamazenta V, we also have the Keldeo V. Right. Um, just a really good first attack for 40 damage. For one, one water does 40 damage. And then Secret Sword for uh, three colorless, hopefully all water. It does 30 more damage for each water. So we got three waters on there. We're doing 140. So right. really good. Um, put another water on. We're pretty much one-shotting everything. And then we're playing the Bisharp line that came in the kit. Uh, so Bisharp has an interesting attack. It does a uh, change order. So this attack does 30 more damage for each of your bench pawn yards. So in theory, you get out like one by sharp and have like two or three, if you can, pawn yards bench, and you're doing like, you know, 90, 120 damage for a single energy, which seems pretty good. Um, so those guys are in there. I have these two Meowths in here because I was struggling to figure out. I, I this Literally, this is the only Pokemon I'm playing because I think that's an... I don't like anything else I pulled. Uh, Meowth's interesting. His first attack does... Uh, it says Home Claws. During your next turn, this Pokemon Slash Attack does 60 more damage. So, like, turn one, use Hone Claws. Turn two, Slash for 90. Seems pretty good. Not bad. Um, yeah, so and then uh, so that's all the Pokemon we got. I really didn't want to play these, but I felt like I wanted to not bench myself. So uh, I thought I'd throw those guys in. They're kind of um, just, like, space fillers where, yeah, like, right, you might exactly. just send one up while you power up. Exactly. <laughs> just, just, uh, just uh, you know, sack a guy. Yeah. So, uh, and then we got the supporters. Uh, Professor's Research, two Marnies. Two bidets. I'm happy I pulled a bidet. That'll help charge up my Keldeo pretty For fast. For sure. Bidet says uh, attach a basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Yeah. So like an uh, extremely nerfed welder, 
but since you can use it for any energy, uh, you know, pretty good. Yep. Um, and then Poke Kid just to search your deck for a Pokemon and put it in your hand. Consistency. Good for getting your Vs. Yep. yep. Uh, great Ball. Look at the top seven. Choose a Pokemon. Uh, Potion to heal my uh, V Pokemon. Evolution Essence to get my Vi Sharp. Lucky Egg to draw cards. Quick Ball. Busted. And then Ordinary Rod's really good. It'll help me get back the few Pokemon I do have. So I like that a lot. For sure. And then I am playing a three, six, nine. 11 water and seven metal and Looks i'm thinking good. i might i might put a little more water in because really the only pokemon that are using metal energy is zamazenta really because by sharps attack can you you can use for a colorless wow so uh i'm really just banking on the keldeo here so hopefully these supporters and trainers let me find them so for yeah. sure yeah just gonna load up that caldeo it's got That's an right. infinite damage ceiling yep, yep. and uh you should just be able to kind of hose through just about anything yep that uh, your opponent puts in front of you yeah awesome stuff jesse well thank you so much for sharing your deck with no us problem. and uh good luck during the tournaments we're Thanks. gonna be right back with another sword and shield pre-release deck in just a moment we got Brady Bodner here, just yes. sleeved up his pre-release deck. Tell us a little bit about what you're rocking here in your deck, Brady. Uh, yeah, I'm basically just playing the Pokemon I got out of the uh, Evolution Kit. Zip. Um, so we have... Oh, and then also I'm playing the Cincino line. So we got three waters and eight grass. And then we have a 2-1 uh, Chinchino line. Yep. A two, um, two, two, and tell we online. Um, a three, two, one, Grookey line, I think. Yeah. Yep. Three, two, one. Did you call it a Grookey line? Yeah. Real yeah. Boom, the real boom line? Yeah. yeah right. It's just Let, Grookey. It, yeah. <laughs> Grookey, Grookey senior, and, Gro <laughs> and Grookey father. Yeah, all here. Uh, and then we got the Snorlax. Yeah. Uh, he just needs like a good attacker to power up with the real boom. For uh, sure, and he does 130 base damage for that right. second attack. Rillaboom can accelerate, what, two grass right. per turn? Yeah. That's quite a bit. Yeah, I decided not to even play the Frost Moth because there wasn't anything like worth accelerating to. Um, so yeah, he just didn't make the cut. Uh, we got two Evolution Incense, yep. Lucky Egg, Great Ball, Professor's Research, Hop, Marnie, Poke Kid, uh, Potion, Switch, another Hop, Aurora Energy, and then the Full Art Professor's Research. Sick. Now, nice. do you think you're going to keep this Full Art Professor's Research? Yeah, I think so. Oh, the boss, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep that thing. I mean, you right. pulled it, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, might as well just for keep sure. the swag, for sure. Yep. Awesome, Brady. Well, thank you so much for yep. sharing your deck with us. I just got word from Natalie that we are going to be getting started with round one of the Full Grip Games Sword and Shield pre-release right now. Sick. So, uh... Go ahead and uh, get on out there, Brady, right. and uh, look forward to seeing how your deck performs cool. in the tournament. So we'll be right back with round one shortly. So hang tight, so we'll be right back. Players are getting ready for the first round of the Full Grip Games Sword and Shield pre-release. We've got Brady Botner on the left versus David Cook on the right. And it looks like David uh, does not have his <laughs> deck in sleeves, so he might be playing... Sleeveless here, we see him doing a quick check of the card count, making sure that he does indeed have 40 cards exactly. Don't want to mess that up. And we didn't get a chance to look at David's deck, so I'm wondering if he does have that Indeedy V in the deck. Or, okay, yeah, maybe he is going to play in sleeves. And is uh, Brady actually... Helping him out by sleeving here. It looks like that might be uh, what is going on. So that uh, that's great. Looks like they're getting uh, getting that deck sleeved up, and they're going to be playing here momentarily. We did see David pull that in DDV during his uh, during his pack opening, and then DDV has an attack. Psychic does ten damage plus sixty more. For each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, that is an absolute ton of damage in pre-release format. And for just one Psychic Energy and two Colorless, the Indeedee V is fairly splashable as well, and it's easy to be played in just about any deck. And I mean, if David is playing the Rillaboom, which accelerates Grass Energy into play, then he could... 
accelerate that grass energy onto the Ndidi V. The Rillaboom has an ability Voltage Beat, which reads once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two grass energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So that would be extremely good if, uh, if it was paired with that Ndidi because Psychic would just be dealing a ton of damage. Three energy, very easy to power up, and uh, you know, if the opponent has three energy attached to them, indeed he's gonna be dealing 190 damage for just three energy. That is definitely a substantial amount. It does look like David's deck is primarily, I think, the uh, the dark and grass. I don't see any psychic energy. There is maybe one. There is one psychic energy. So he is playing the NDDV and one psychic energy. And then he also has the energy search, which can help him get his one psychic energy for the NDDV. I love that. Very cool combination of cards there. David relying primarily on the Rillaboom and primarily on the Galarian Obstagoon, but also going to be getting in there with the uh, with the Ndidi. So very cool deck that we have there. The Galarian Obstagoon also going to be a big player in this pre-release format. Galarian Obstagoon has got an ability Untamed Shout. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And I think the Galarian Obstagoon is really good in pre-release format. There are a lot of low HP Pokemon that Untamed Shout can kind of pick off. And then Obstruct can be very good against uh, decks that rely primarily on basic Pokemon. So if anybody is trying to get fancy with their one Pokemon V and 39 card, you know, energy card deck, they will surely get punished by this Galarian Obstagoon and the Obstruct attack, which does 90 damage and prevents all damage on this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. Definitely got to admire David's Garbodor sleeves, they are very cool. He's starting out with a Snorlax in the active, and Brady has got a board just full of basic Pokemon. We are playing with the new Sword and Shield rules, so I'm assuming no supporter cards on the first turn of the game if you go first. And Brady's starting things off with a big Professor's Research. He's got that full art Professor's Research in his hand and just letting it rip uh, right away. I got to see what Grookey does he have in play. He's got, uh, let's see if I can recognize the artwork on the Grookey. It's looking like this one, the one that's hanging from the tree. Excellent. Now David does have the Poke Kid supporter. So he could search his deck for a Pokemon and he has to choose wisely which Pokemon is gonna help him dig out of this situation. Fortunately, he does have a Snorlax, which has a decent amount of hit points. That Snorlax has 150 HP, a basic non-EX, non-GX. That is a huge amount of hit points for a basic Pokemon that is not a Pokemon V. Um, I think that's like some of the highest that, uh, that I've ever seen for sure. David also going to be playing Quick Ball to get his own Grookey into play on the bench. Now, David's still a little ways away from being able to attack with the Snorlax, but Ndidi, wow, that ability coming into play already, healing off the damage that was dealt to his 150 HP Snorlax. I really love that. And David feels pretty comfortable just accelerating some more energy onto that active or just putting some more energy onto the active. And DDV's ability watch over healing that Snorlax. And that, uh, it's looking like that, uh, that ability is going to be playing quite a role in this game. Now, Brady does have the Sensino in play now, and it's going to be using that ability make do to draw through his deck. Very consistent turn two Sensino. 
with the uh, with the make do ability, and it's going to be just dealing ten damage again. But David will surely heal that ten damage off with his Indeedy. But you know Brady's going to do it maybe just in case he forgets. Wow, David getting the rare candy Rillaboom. What? He's got a rare candy Rillaboom coming into play turn two. This is blazing fast, or turn three, I should say, blazing fast for a pre-release deck, and uh, he can only accelerate grass, so he's got to accelerate the grass energy onto the Snorlax, and it's going to heal it off using the NDDV. Wow, Snorlax about to be housing. I mean, he does a lot of damage. The Snorlax can hit for, I believe, over 100. Surely is going to be knocking out this uh, this poor Grookey in the active. That is for sure. And it looks like this Snorlax, yeah, hits for 130. And Brady has got a lot of pressure to deal with here. The fact that David was able to rip that rare candy is just amazing. I mean, you don't really see that kind of play in pre-releases at all. Um, usually evolutions are much slower to come into play and you have to manually evolve, you know, like uh, as we see Brady right here, evolving into his Thwacky and David getting an explosive start with the Snorlax. And Snorlax is a really optimal Pokemon to have in this pre-release format because it's just a big basic that doesn't give up a lot of prizes. So the Snorlax is perfect, not only because it does a ton of damage, not only because it has this colorless attack cost, but also because it is able to just buy time while you set your deck up. And we saw David kind of just biding some time his first couple turns, he didn't really do anything, but he was able to set up behind the Snorlax. And it looks like Brady is taking some cues here. And he's like, all right, I'm gonna get my own Snorlax out into play. And we're gonna see how you like that with uh, a Snorlax v Snorlax situation going on. And it looks like Brady might just be sacking the Sobble in the active and putting some energy onto his Thwacky. And then saying pass over to David it's going to be hard for Brady to catch up and get his feet underneath and maybe he plans on attacking with the Rillaboom next turn. Let's take a look and see what the Rillaboom is capable of. It does 140 damage with its attack hammer in if Brady evolves into that. Wow, but we see David using Rillaboom's ability to accelerate a grass onto the Ndidi. David also has the Psychic Energy in his hand for the Ndidi V, setting up his board position for a sweep here at the end of the game. He's only got two prizes remaining, and if Rillaboom gets four energy on it, that means that David's Ndidi V is gonna be dealing an absurd amount of damage to it. 250 damage, 60 for each energy attached. The Rillaboom needs four energy in order to attack. And if Brady uses Voltage Beat to accelerate onto it, it's surely going to get Return knocked out by that Indeedee on David's bench. So we'll see what Brady is able to cook up. He does have the Rillaboom. Can he accelerate two Grass Energy from the deck onto the Rillaboom? It doesn't even take a knockout. He does have a Lucky Egg, just in case. I do suspect that David could have a hard time moving the Snorlax if he did want to go in and there we go our first marnie happening on stream you see players shuffling their hands putting it onto the bottom of the deck and brady trying to find out if there's anything any sort of juice left in his deck that he can use he's going to accelerate only one grass energy left in the deck Wow. Fortunately, the Rillaboom does have 170 HP. Pretty does have an energy to attach from hand. For his turn, he's going to elect to attach the one water and will swing for 140 damage. Still not a knockout. 
Um, we'll see if David has the switch to get into that Ndidi, or is he going to just swing? He does have a hop. He could draw three cards. And I think David Seck might have a switch in it. But I'm not sure. I don't see it now. And this situation where Brady's in would have been very good if he had those Galarian Zigzagoons. They deal 10 damage. When you put them onto the bench, the Galarian Zigzagoon would have easily fixed the math on this Snorlax. But unfortunately, Brady's uh, deck kit did not come with it. So David's going to place the Galarian Zigzagoon, place the 10 damage. I think onto probably the Snorlax on the bench makes the most sense. Probably considering where to put it now. I think that is a good call from David. You want to soften up that Snorlax because it's got 150 HP. And it's probably going to be the hardest thing on Brady's board for David to knock out. And then it looks like David has potentially an energy search, I think. And it's going to be able to get an energy out of his deck. Looks like he's picking darkness energy. And looks like these players are all playing with the new sword and shield energies that uh, just look amazing. It looks so good. I love those art, those artworks on those sword and shield energies. And the Rillaboom has 170 HP, so it is uh, it is not able to get knocked out by this Snorlax. The only way David could take a knockout is if he takes the knockout with the Ndidi V, who could potentially deal 250 damage to this uh, to this Rillaboom. We do see David starting to load up that Ndidi. He could manually retreat the Snorlax. That does feel like a very aggressive play. I'm not sure that I like that. Much more confident seeing David just swing into the Rillaboom. Now, unfortunately, the Ndidi doesn't do any damage to an opponent. Hardly any damage. Does only 10 damage to an opponent that doesn't have any energy attached to it. So... If Brady just withholds his energy, David is going to have to cook up another attacker that is capable of just dealing some vanilla damage. It looks like David is going to be retreating that Snorlax for energy to the discard pile. And here comes Ndidi about to take a huge one-hit knockout on this Rillaboom Ndidi V. Wow. The big psychic attack, 250 damage. Absolutely insane. Another cool thing about the Ndidi, the ability reads, once during your turn you may heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. That includes Ndidi. Brady's going to check his last card in deck, and it looks like Brady may have decked himself using this Encino. I'm not sure that Brady has any chance of hanging on. Um, unless he's got something queued up in his hand that's going to keep him from decking out. It looks like he is just left in a situation where he has to accelerate with the Cincino, and deal 40 damage, and, and Brady is getting devastatingly close to decking out. David, on the other hand, has got, looks like, over 10 cards left in his deck. So he is just fine using Evolution Incense and grabbing the Galarian Linoon out of his deck. He's going to be able to evolve that Galarian Zigzagoon on his bench. And he could potentially end the game with an Evolution into Galarian Obstagoon. All he has to do is deal 60 damage here with the Ndidi. Since you know, I believe, only has 90 hit points. Or Mincino only has 90 hit points.
It does. So then David is in a situation. Let's see, why is there only 40 damage? Oh, he had the potion. Never mind. All right, looks like uh, Brady had the potion to stop that play from happening. Indeed, he dealt 70 damage. And then Brady's just horsing around because he loses because of deck out. But he is going to deal some damage with the Inteleon before he goes down. And Brady's Indeedy just decked itself out. You do have to be careful in pre-release format. It is so easy to deck yourself out. But it looks like David just has to pass. And Brady decks out without taking a prize. David emerging victorious in round one of the full group games. Sword and Shield pre-release. Very cool deck from David Cook. Three different types of basic energy. Three different types of Pokemon. And uh, one cohesive strategy to take the victory in game one. We're going to get David Cook back here. Talk a little bit about his deck and his deck construction experience in just a moment. We'll be right back. We got David Cook just won his first round of the four games yeah. pre-release. Sick deck, bro. <laughs> it ended up working out. It did. Three different types of basic energy, three different yep. types of Pokemon. One psychic energy. Yeah, we saw. Actually, <laughs> I got to see you sleeping your deck up, and yeah. I was like... Please put the please put the Indeedee in. Please put the Indeedee in. And he, uh, he did. Pretty gas. Yeah. I mean, so uh, what were your thoughts there playing uh, playing the deck? Were you worried at all about setting up in the beginning? Or were you pretty confident about how your deck was drawing? Um, a little, just because I wasn't drawing nearly as much as Brady did. But Brady drew Brady, a lot. He drew his literally his whole deck. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out there just wasn't. Wasn't much good in his whole deck. Wasn't much. No. Yeah. He used <laughs> uh, Professor's Research, turn one, you know, drew seven cards, and then you, you said Zeno, he drew a couple times, and it couldn't couldn't really cook up anything nope. that could deal with the, <laughs> the Snorlax and Rillaboom. I was yeah, really Snorlax impressed boom, yeah. with that. Yeah, Is that a strategy you think you're going to be uh, trying to employ? Do you think the Snorlax is probably the optimal target for Rillaboom? Uh, yeah, probably. Snorlax or just Real Boom himself. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the Indeedee, actually, uh, I didn't you know, necessarily think that the healing was going to be, you know, that big, but it, it actually really was. Yeah, it helped. Because sure. it kept the Snorlax clean, and then when Rillaboom was ready to, you know, hit into it. Yeah, it wasn't it, it one had a two-shot it, yeah. For sure. Yeah, so uh, some really clutch plays there, mm -hmm. and uh, definitely best of luck in your next round, man. Thanks, man. Awesome. Players are getting started in the second round of the Full Grip Game Sword and Shield pre-release. We've got Nick Hunter on the left with a Metal Water deck. He's got Bisharps, he's got Inteleons, and a Q-Font on his bench against Jesse Parker, who is playing his stacked deck with powerful Pokemon V in it. We know he's got Bisharps, we know he's got Zamazenta V, and starting things off with a Turn 1 Pokekid, and we're going to see Jesse go straight for that Caldeo. He said that the Caldeo is exactly who he wanted to power up when he was talking to us about his deck. And there goes Nick Hunter taking a little read for that Caldeo, making sure he's aware of what this card is capable of. Caldeo V making its way out of the bench. And I expect to see Jesse just start to load this thing up with water energy to launch some huge secret sword attacks in the upcoming turns. Jesse also has some copies of Bead in his deck, and Bead could be very good for accelerating more energy onto this Caldeo V. With just three water energy on the Caldeo V, uh, Caldeo is going to be doing 140 damage with four energy. It's dealing 170 damage, which knocks out just about anybody that comes in these pre-release kits. So it's just a matter of time before Jesse's Caldeo is absolutely steamrolling these cards. Now we see Nick going straight for the Blip Bug. Blip Bug is not a card I thought I would be commentating on during this pre-release, but you never know what you're going to see in a pre-release. So here is the Blip Bug. It looks like Blip Bug is here to call for family. You can search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. So the Blip Bug is going to go get Nick cards that he needs in order to set up. And I'm wondering 
what kind of strategy uh, Nick is going to unfold here. He does have a Sobble that he's getting. I think he does have a Drizzile in his hand and then can evolve into Inteleon. I do see the Inteleons in his hand. I'm not sure that I saw a Drizzile. Jesse's gonna go in and attach his water energy to the Ponyard in the active and he has an Evolution Incense. So we're gonna be seeing a Bisharp coming to play this turn. And the Bisharp does have a very efficient attack charge order 30 damage um and it does 30 more damage for each of your benched pokemon uh each of your benched ponyard excuse me so it does base 30 um it looks like he's actually just going to retreat the ponyard evolve into bisharp and then use professor's research to draw seven more cards the caldeo is just going to start swinging with that one energy attack Wave Splash. Wave Splash is able to deal 40 damage and potentially put some pressure on this Blipbug. And it looks like Jesse is also using Great Ball to get the Ponyard out of the deck and then has Quick Ball to go get another basic Pokemon. And he's just loading his bench up with basics now he's got the galarian meowth too and we talked a little bit about this galarian meowth the galarian meowth seemingly serves no purpose uh just kind of a bench sitter so i think he might just be getting the galarian meowth out of the deck wave splash is enough damage to knock out the blip bug going down nick promotes one of his pawn yards is he going to be able to cook up a strategy to compete with this Caldeo V? Caldeo V, just a 210 hit point Pokemon, swinging for 40 damage a turn right now. I do expect to see water energy start to come down onto Caldeo turn after turn. And Jesse swinging again with Wave Splash. Nick building up the Q-Font on his bench. Jesse's Caldeo V swinging for a massive 140 damage with three water energy attacks attached. And we do see the Caparaja come into play on Nick's side of the board. What is this Caparaja capable of? And can it potentially stop this Caldeo? Wow, Caparaja, 220 damage for three energy. Oh my goodness, this Caparaja could very well take out Jesse's entire strategy. Nick just biding time until the Caparaja makes its way into the active position, 220 damage is surely going to be knocking out this Caldeo V, but Nick does not have the third metal energy. This is devastating. He just has to use Dig Drain. That is horrible. No, Nick doesn't have the third metal energy. That's devastating. Jesse has an opportunity to deal 170 damage to the Caparaja, and then that is going to be game. Jesse is not going to be able to keep up, or Nick is not going to be able to keep up with the damage put out by Jesse, and Nick doesn't have the energy to do it. Oh my gosh, how disappointing. I wanted to see the Caparaja take out the Keldeo. Oh my goodness. How devastating is this? 140 damage. There's no way Nick is going to be able to heal all of this off. And the next top deck. What a crushing top deck for Nick. He's got a potion. He could dig drain and heal 60. But his muscular nose is dealing no damage. 
because he does not have enough on it. And the Kaparaja is going to get knocked out by Jesse's Caldeo. Unfortunate for Nick. Kaparaja almost able to sweep that entire game. But uh, falling a little bit short with no metal energy when he needed it most. Jesse advancing to 2-0 at the Full Grip Game Sword and Shield pre-release. We're going to get Jesse back here to talk about his deck in just a moment. Jesse Parker just won round two yes. of the pre-release. Now, Jesse, were you worried all about the uh, the big elephant in the room? Yeah, the big elephant had me worried. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, I read that card because I pulled that card. Yeah. And I didn't get any baby elephants. The so, Q-Fan. Yeah. yeah, the Q-Fan. And uh, so I was like, oh, shoot. Because, like, I felt okay because I was like, even if he does knock it out, I can smack it with a buy sharp. But right. then he had the potion, so he could have healed and, and done it again. Heated my buy sharp, so <laughs> just heated the buy. Yeah, sharp. but I think I could have got another buy sharp, so I think it would have got. It, it would have been a close game, but for sure, um, it would have came down to like a last prize situation. So, it would but have then been the like, thing it like heals thirty for. Yeah, 60. that's true. That's true. He might have just swept with it. He man. probably would have swept with it. Yeah, I'm probably thinking lost. that. Ah oh, man! As soon as he attached the water to his active, I'm like. We're in there. I thought maybe it was a misplay to like go in with the Keldeo there, but I just wanted to like just start putting on the aggression. So. I think that like that just seemed to make the part, most sense. Yeah, part like, of me wanted to he just, like wasn't really doing anything. Yeah. You're looking at a Q fan, like what's the Q fan yeah. got? You know. Part of me wants to just like sack three guys and just like stack waters on Keldeo and yeah. just like go then go in and like it takes like three knockouts for but, sure. But like yeah, so I felt like it was right play. Good stuff. Well, it ended up buffing out. Yeah. You know, a uh, close one, but uh, <laughs> close. Nick Hunter was saying he just wished he hadn't played any water energies, yeah, and I yeah. think we all agree at this right, point. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> After yeah, saying that, that yeah. just missed the Inteleon. Yeah, you oh, yeah, just no, the no, no. elephant deck for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Excellent stuff. Well, good luck in your final round, Jesse. Thanks. I got Will Mantho in the house. How you doing, Will? Pretty good. How are you? Good, man. So you're 2 0. I am 2 0. And you said you have a broken deck. Yes, yeah, so the deck is insanely broken. All right. So tell us a little bit about your broken deck, Will. All right. Well, the deck contains. Obstagoon, yep, Rillaboom, and Maractus. All right, now what the zit, what is your Maractus doing? All right, Will? so the Maractus for two it does sixty times of uh, all right. So for each, first energy attack, you flip a coin. Yep, and then for each hand, it does sixty. So oh, you, that's yeah. busted. And then you have the two Rillabooms. Right. So you just like you could you could yeah, juice yeah. four <laughs> energy a turn with this thing. Yeah. Oh really my gosh. So you pulled a Rillaboom mm -hmm. and you had a Rillaboom in your in I your actually got three. I got uh I pulled I pulled this one and then this came in the pack too. I'm not playing the promo. So And you have the promo one? Not not none of that. Oh okay. But Didn't the I get a third wacky. Oh so. okay, so there's no point. That's mm -hmm. insane. Yeah. So the Maractus, just to show that off a little bit closer, <laughs> has this uh Attack, powerful needles. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does uh, 60 damage for each heads. 110 hit points, not bad yeah, either. Yeah, pretty good. So what's the most damage you've done with Maractus so far? Uh, only like 120. 120. You don't even need it most of the time, since if you go first, you get this like turn three every single game. Yeah. And then you just do 140 and the Obstagoon, and uh, is it going to fix the math and everything? For so, sure. So even like Pokemon V and stuff, like oh, you yeah. have a potential to like knock those out. It's really good, yeah. That's amazing. Six cards broken. Like the, the six of good is broken. <laughs> yeah, it's, like it, it fixed math like three times for me. So that's amazing. Yeah. Yo, awesome deck, Will. Well, thank you so much for sharing it with us, and uh, good luck in your final round, man. Thank you, man. Third and final round of the Full Grip Games Sword and Shield pre-release getting started now. We've got Will Mantho on the left versus versus Noel. On the right, a.k.a. Pink Vapor Gaming. We've rated her a few times here on Tricky Gym. So, uh, big shout-out to Noel. Thank you so much for making the trip out to Full Grip Games for our Sword and Shield pre-release. And uh, this should be an exciting match. Both players 2-0. We did get to talk about Will's deck a little bit. Um... We did get to talk about Will's deck a little bit. We had interviewed him. He's got Maractus in his... Uh, we've got Maractus in his Rillaboom deck. Rillaboom is very strong and able to accelerate two gas energy from the deck onto a Pokemon with Voltage 
Beat. Voltage Beat. A very strong ability that we've seen quite a bit of in this Sword and Shield pre-release. Maractus can take advantage of that energy acceleration with its powerful Needles attack and uh, averages 60 damage for every two energy on it. So if you have four energy on it, you're averaging 120. If you have uh, eight energy on it, you will average 240 damage on it. So a very powerful attacker in its own right. And... Rillaboom, a great attacker as well. Uh, Rillaboom can deal 140 damage with Hammer in, and it looks like Will is going first, and thank you so much for that. Raid Super Dido. Will has got... a Grookey in the active, a Galarian Zigzagoon on the bench, which he is placing... That damage counter onto Noel's Galarian Zigzagoon. And we see Will using Quick Ball to go for a second Grookey right off the bat, setting up his board with multiple Grookey on turn one. He knows his strategy is going to be to evolve into Rillaboom as quickly as possible. And he said he loves the Zigzagoon line because it gives his deck some. Uh, math fixing he's able to fix the numbers on a lot of key Pokemon and Will does have a draw supporter in his hand for next turn as well he's got the Marnie that he is going to be able to dig into his deck five cards limiting Noel's hand to just four Noel starting off strong as well with two Galarian Zigzagoons a Galarian Zigzagoon in the active one coming down on the bench and he's gonna and she is going to place that damage Onto the active Grookey and pass with an energy on her active Galarian Zigzagoon. Will's got a second one, a grass energy going on to the Maractus. Potentially. Noel asking to read the Maractus. And it looks like Will opting to use the Marnie. Both players shuffle their hand, put it onto the bottom of the deck, and then Will will draw five cards, Noel draws four. And Will may be thinking that he wanted to conserve the grass energy. He's got a crushing hammer. Wow, crushing hammer coming down. Not a card you see a lot of in pre-release format. Energy going down onto Maractus. And we could see Maractus getting some action. Will's hand does not look super good, other than the fact that he's got a couple of grass energy for the Maractus. Noel left without any energy in play and has to use the bicycle. So she is going to use the bicycle to fill her hand to six. That does end her turn, but is going to give her some options coming down the line. Will on the draw now. Looks like he's got a Rillaboom, but no Thwacky. And he is just going to retreat, and we've got Maractus diving in. Two heads, 120 damage to that Galarian Zigzagoon, and Maractus taking a knockout. Noel left with just one Galarian Zigzagoon in play. She has got a hop to draw three cards, three Darkness Energy. She needs a Pokemon to put onto her bench or else she might get benched out. Galarian Zigzagoon does not, I was going to say Galarian Zigzagoon does not have a lot of hit points. But sure enough, she has got the Big Charm. And the Big Charm increases her Pokemon's hit points by 30. So the Galarian Zigzagoon, an effective 100 hit points right now. And Maractus would have to hit another double heads in order to take the knockout. If Will is able to spring a couple of Galarian Zigzagoons into play, then, um, then he could fix the Mac and make it a little bit easier. 
Looks like Noel is going to play an Ordinary Rod. Shuffle some of her Pokemon she lost back into the deck, and then she flips with Surprise Attack. Unfortunately, a Tails. Nothing happening there. Another energy going on to Maractus. Two heads. And this game is over. And that's two heads. That's it. Will emerges victorious with Maractus. <laughs> Maractus. No energy acceleration. Maractus taking the game all by itself. Will Mantho diving in there with powerful needles to go 3-0 at the full grip game sword and shield pre-release excellent games there we're gonna grab will to talk a little bit more about his deck and we'll be right back with an interview in just a moment we are here with lance lance finished 3-0 at the tournament how you doing lance good i'm doing great awesome man so you told us you had this crazy snorlax Rillaboom deck. Tell us a little bit about your deck. You went 3-0. We've got some bonus packs here we're going to open. Tell us a little bit of how your deck performed over the course of the tournament. Uh, yeah, so I have I pulled the Snorlax V, yeah. and uh, it's really, really good. Her yeah. three energy does 60, heals 60. So even if they start attacking early, right. just start uh, swinging back and hitting 60. Everybody's playing like small basics with like low HP, so right. you just start knocking stuff out. So you take the early prizes while you're healing 60 off. I also got Center Lady. Right, and the thing has like over 200 hit points, right? Yeah, it's a 220. That's insane. Yeah. So not much, nothing's one-shotting except for uh, Zacian, which I faced in the last round. Yikes. It was a little scary, but uh, he never got three energies on it. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. And so uh, Gorilla Boom actually was able to finish that because he, when he finally like got close knocking out, I just retreated because uh, I also got a balloon. Oh, so my So it's gosh. retreat cost he came too. So you retreat, so bring up the boom, and then just 140, he swings back, and then 140. And I also pulled an extra uh, boom. So oh, okay. my line was four, two, three. So it was really consistent getting out. And you were able to like sometimes accelerate. Were you ever able to have a turn we accelerated more than two into play? Yeah, I uh, actually got three booms out at one point. Oh so. my gosh! And uh, the deck plays fourteen <laughs> energy, so it was real. 14, so it was all grass. Oh uh, no, I actually played two metal. Okay. Because uh, I got the meanwhile. And, oh, okay. Uh, it does forty and discards energy from that. Okay. And you can accelerate to it also, so yeah. you just attach metal, accelerate one energy to it, and you can start swinging early with that if you want to. And it all, its first attack lets you search for a Pokemon. Yeah. Any Pokemon, so you can get your evolutions out faster. Or your, uh, you know, your Snorlax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome Well, start. I actually started the Snorlax all three rounds. That's so, insane. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Very intimidating for your opponents just to be looking at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every single game. Awesome. Well, you got some bonus packs here. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's open those and see if you uh, you pull anything, uh, anything good out of your packs. Now, is there anything in particular? You're, you're looking for out of this? Uh, actually, just trainers, actually, mostly. Yeah. Uh, balloons and stuff, because uh, I'm building alternate Necrozma again. Oh, nice. Yeah, so looking for balloons for the yeah. Dawn Wings. Now, be careful with your code in case you you know, you want to keep uh, that. It's no big deal. Okay. Sick. Yeah, free codes from Lance. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, no problem. And bolts on there. So the trainers, the balloons, I mean, there are a lot of really good trainers in this set. I mean, Quick Ball is insane. I know a lot of people are really excited about Ultra Necrozma as a uh, potential archetype. Do you think that the Ultra Necrozma could be, you know, could be a good deck? Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm trying to test it with a uh, Beastite. Okay. So late game, you can still hit 270 even if you only have three energy. Sure. So uh, I'm just testing it with uh, Holden Cheeks, actually. Oh, nice. Holden, yeah. Holden comes to league all the time. So very cool. Yeah. So uh, I've had um, some success with it so far. Nice. And another cool thing about the Ultra Necro there you go, Metal Saucer. Uh, another cool thing about the Ultra Necrozma is it just does have like kind of an unlimited damage ceiling. So even with like the big Pokemon V, big Pokemon V Max, and things like that, you know, it's capable of hitting those big numbers that uh, not every deck is capable of hitting these days. Yeah, and uh, B String is still a really good card. So, For sure. Uh, late game, it helps up set up the uh, knockouts too. Yep. So. Awesome uh, stuff. Well, thanks. Oh, you got more packs, yeah. man. I was I was at like four packs of done. No, six packs. Yeah, That's six packs. awesome. Yeah, six. So six packs to, to open. I can't wait. I think I'm gonna play in the pre-release tomorrow. And uh, you know, I'm just looking for like you know the professor's researches for sure, Marnie's things like that. Natalie, you got some bonus packs? Oh, yeah. I already kind of opened them. I forgot. But... You kind of opened them, yeah. and you forgot. I got him. <laughs> I just opened them. I wanted to open them, man. Natalie got a Frost Moth. Wow. Check that out. Nice, Natalie. Nice. And a Dreadnought there. 
Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your packs with us, Lance. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks for telling us a little bit about your deck, man. Yeah, it was a good time. Sick. All right, we're going to get uh, someone else with more packs here to open in just a moment. Shout out to Lance again. And uh, we'll be right back. Will Mantho with the Filthy Maractus deck. Yes. Insane. <laughs> now, uh, we saw your final game there against Noel. Did it feel at all like playing Sneasel in uh, base Neo format? Uh, not really, because <laughs> I was trying to get Rillaboom up, and then I'm like, wow, didn't get a Thwacky this game? It might lose. It might. <laughs> Still wouldn't, though. Yeah, I saw you like going in for the coin flips. You like just started hamming the energy under Maractus. Like, obviously, it was the right call. But I was like, man, this looks just like playing like a base Neo game. <laughs> He's going to go with Maractus and just flip some coins oh, yeah. and hopes it buffs out. <laughs> and sure enough, uh, it did just that. So we got six packs to open here. Yes. What are you hoping you get out of these packs? Um, anything like a Zation probably or any four supporters. So. Would be lit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely the best bulls. Yes. And I've seen actually you know, Brady opened the full art professor's research. Yes, he did, he did show me that. Yeah, oh, I wanna, got it. oh, there you go. <laughs> Insane. Or BD. There you go. If you want to save your codes, go ahead and toss them off to the side. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, insane. insane, the full cool. RB. Let's show that off a little bit. Wow, look at that. The Pretty full nice. arts are next level in this set. All right, I got nothing on this back. Got the Goodman Chino with 60 HP. And the Poke Gear. Actually, Poke Gear's pretty good. Nice. I know that's in the set, actually. Poke Gear. They've got a lot of trainers yeah. in this set. There's uh, Poke Gear en Energy Search, which is like strictly worse than Energy Spinner, but. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Card, the card that Noel played that lets you draw to get a 6 and end your turn the yeah. card, I think that's pretty good. It is good. It's yeah. cool, for sure. There will definitely be some decks that play that. Uh, more Pico, uh, Center Lady, nothing really. Yeah. yeah. Center Lady has been reprinted like a million times in the last couple sets. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, well, it was in Hidden Fates, right? And then Center Lady was also in something else, I feel like. Or was it just Hidden Fates? All right. Yes. <laughs> Still back-to-back -back print, though. Kind of funny. And the Poke Gear is pretty good. Poke I, I, gear. I own zero Poke Gear, so. Well, now you yeah. own some Poke Gears, which <laughs> is more than apparently the amount that you owned previously. Yes, it is. <laughs> we also got Owen Robinson in the house. Oh, broken my period. Who went 3-0 uh, at the event as well, so we're going to be having a Owen open his packs for us on stream uh, after Will. Great. We'll pull the fuller beads, so you've got, uh, Ooh, yeah, yeah. you've got something to top here, Owen. Uh, I got Thievel. For sure. And a quick ball is pretty good. Okay. All right, yep. That's about it for me, so. <sighs> see. All right, Owen. Is it my turn? It is your turn. All right, let's get you back here, Owen. And uh, talk to us a little bit about your deck and uh, your performance throughout the tournament. We didn't get to see What's you up, on Chad? stream yet, so talk to us a little bit about the deck you played and the rounds of the tournament to go 3 up. Um, so I just took the, my, uh, pre-release pack was Mancino. Okay. Uh, Chinchino, Mancino, whatever. Cincino or something. Whatever. Yeah. The, the rat. It the was trade the, rat. I believe it is a chinchilla. Yes. I actually just learned that today. So <laughs> that would make sense. Chinchilla. Yeah. That makes sense. Cincino, chinchilla. Maybe it's chinchino. Yeah. Because it's chinchilla. Right. Yeah. Probably. It would probably make sense. But yeah. That was my, uh, that was my pre-release pack. I, I got that and then it came with. Uh, a line of the Zigzagoon, yep. uh, Linoon, uh, what is it, Obstructagoon? Or? Obst <laughs> I don't Obst know. Obstagoon. Obstagoon. Yeah, the, attack is obstagoon. Uh, the, the attack is obstruct. The attack is obstruct, yes. yes. And then I got, uh, I think there was Rillabombi or whatever. Dude, I'm butchering all these names. You're really destroying Grookies, them. I'll just say it's the, I got the Grookie, Grookie line. Senior, yes. Grookie Father, all right. Yes, whatever, I got the that. Grookie line. You got the Grookie gang? Yeah. So, I mean, it was a pretty busted, um, uh, Peerless Kid. I got like two research and Marnie and Quick okay. Ball. So no V's or anything. Just I did get of... a V. I got a V. The 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 Stonehenge. Uh, the table. <laughs> the table. <laughs> I got. I don't remember. Stone Turner. Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know any of these names. Yes. I got, yes, I got the table. I got the table, and he carried me through a bunch of games. All right. Um, great, but cool. it was really really simple. Like, um, primarily attack with the uh, the table, <laughs> and then just use Zigzagoon <laughs> and use the line to. Place the damage, especially when you come up against V's and you have the uh, 
the zigzagoons. You can right. And he has a, an attack mega kick for one fifty three fightings. Yeah. So you can start like st- you can actually kill V Pokemon. You yeah. Have to two shot them if you get for ev- sure. You, you get, get everything. Obstagoons correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, let's see what you get. All right, we have six, six packs. packs. Had yes. to be our favorite player, Jesse Parker. He had two two V Pokemon. He had two V Pokemon. Yes. It is bonus six packs. No, no, no in uh-huh. his deck. Okay, in his yes, deck. Yes, yes, yes. It was a tough match. It was a tough match. Oh, you beat him in the final. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Table one. sick. That was yes. Epic finale. So you were able to beat Jesse with his two Vs. Yeah. So how did that shake out? Well, who did he power up in his match? Um. So he led. Mostly he led his uh, Pontiard Bisharp. Okay. Probably Because he was back here. Didn't he build his deck? I saw here? his deck, yeah. yeah. So he's got the Bisharps, and he's got Caldeo V, and he's got Zamazenta V. Yes. Yes. Uh, he would lead Bisharp into yeah. a bunch of stuff. I used the table to <laughs> knock out the Bisharp, <laughs> and then just used the, the, the was it, Obstagoon? Yeah. Obstagoon would just pretty much carry me the rest of the game. He burnt right. a lot of draw supporters early game. Yeah. Uh, so he was just like drawing one card at a time and then one obstacle. Got you it. I mean, killed all the Bisharps. Right. Especially since Bisharp has 120, you just put three on the Bisharp and then Bisharp comes forward awesome. and so you probably were, never kills it. You were so. able to just obstacle yeah. and, uh, and just kind of take the whole field. Yep. Yeah. So let's open up oh, six packs. Six packs. Yeah. Let's see. Now, if you weren't able to tell, I've got the tape here. This is, this is your guide. So, <laughs> yeah, these are the Keep no fly them. zone above the tape. You know, yeah, in, in oh, the middle oh, here, oh, yes. Oh, we got there something. There you go, white coat. Got something here. Sick. All right. So push you up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. I know how to do this. There All right, we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Yes. Wulu. Sobble Grookey. No Rhyme way. One. Chino. It looks beautiful, dude. It looks so cute. Whoa, yeah. man. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you get to your... I got Marnie. That's, yo, that's pretty cool. Marnie. That is it's cool. excellent. But not, cool, not as cool as... It's cool, cool as it. but not as cool as what David Cook just pulled. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. The hollow pattern on those is just insane. You can see there's, like, even a little, like, texture there. It's got, like, the glitter and everything. What an insane pull. David Cook with the Rainbow Rare Professor's Research. Insane. Pog. Insane. Pog. Pog's in the chat, everybody. Pog. Yeah. Pog, Pog in the chat. Pog's in the chat. Pog in the I chat. I went one and two Pog me, please. <laughs> Wait, you went one and two and you get the Rainbow Rare? Oh, my uh, gosh. You went one, two. <laughs> David Cook went one, two. So what'd you get, like one, two packs? You got two, yeah, packs. two packs. Two packs. And then oh. your two yeah, packs. Yeah, this was pack two. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Insane. All right, so we got Marnie in pack one. Hopefully, I can pull one. Those you can pull rares. a Rainbow Rare Marnie. Let's go. Let's get it. Rainbow Rare Marnie. Oh, that'd be pretty baller. That would be. Uh, For sure. I mean, if oh, David did oh. it, you could do it too. We got something else. Here we go. We got a bug, snow, another bug, Mawile, flower, Golding, Oyster. Uh oh. Obstagoon. <laughs> Obstructive, Obstructive Goon. <laughs> Quillfish Energy Switch. Got a uh, reprint. Good. Dollar. Not bad. Can't cry about hollow rares, man. For sure. The Obstagoon, I think, is a good card. I mean, even like, even in, you know, standard, I mean, it's just a powerful card and it could potentially have some utility somewhere at oh. some time. I'm oh, not yeah. sure that it's going to be, you know, the most broken deck, tier one, whatever, but like, it could get you somehow. I mean,. It, you could just make another Landy Bats deck with it, right? You could. I thought the Lin Noon did 20. I was like, okay, so I put the Zigzagoon down, I'm like 10. And then I put the Lin Noon down, and I'm like 20. 20. I'm like, oh, wait, that doesn't have an ability. It doesn't even have an ability. Oh! Yo, this back, is busted. Back, back, white coats. This is busted, chat. Here we go. We have a chance. Rahorn, Chino, Chinchow, Krogan, Lair and Meowth, Rare Candy. Uh, Yo! Yo! There we go. V's Asian V here. Let's uh, put it up to the camera real quick. Check that out. Busted pack. Zashian V. That is a beautiful artwork on that. Love that card. Sword Dog. Take it every day of the week, my guy. For sure. A lightning energy. That's the card everyone's looking for. This card is nuts in pre-release. Oh, the team. team Yell. Oh, I'm sure it is. Team Yell is so good in Just throw their energy back to their hand. You're like, yeah, undo. Especially if you go second, you're just like, undo that. Right. And then you're basically going first. Basically. Oh, oh that card. 
insane. Also, Stunfisk kind of insane. I wanted the to play. The Stunfisk seems like a good I card. I kind of wanted to play, like, playing these two in tandem just seems very annoying. Like, this card, I don't know if you guys have seen this card. This card, Galarian Stunfisk, has just got a stall deck written all over it. Snap Trap, if this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it's knocked out, discard an energy from the attacking Pokemon. Maybe not an all-star in, like, pre-release format, but, I mean, does that not have, like, a stall deck just written all over it? Yeah. I mean, it can't even get attacked without discarding. It just it discards an energy every time. It's just a lot. I mean, in pre-release, it has a lot going for it. It's cheap to attack with. You can, for sure. It's got no ceiling. I mean, you do have to flip some coins, but, I mean. It's a good Pokemon. 30, 30 for, it's not bad. No. It's not bad. For sure. All right. So, let's go. Can we go six for six? That'd be insane. All white coats. That would be insane. I'm looking for the gold dog, man. All right, I'll try Show to me the gold dog. I haven't seen one yet. We're, Dude, we're about to. The gold the dog, dog, man. Oh, my The gold gosh. sparkly dog. We got another white pack. Okay, we can. this can be done. I've got a gold. We got a dig. We got a Scorpy. Hoo hoo. Score bunny. Pika. Mawile. Hey. Oh, Delmise. Delmise V. Good? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to show them off, though. Show them off. Yo, show them off. Show them all right. Delmise V. This is our first one that we've seen. Very cool Pokemon V. It's got an attack. Anchor Anger. 3 plus 90 more. If one of your Pokemon is knocked out, then Giga Hammer. 200 damage. Can't attack next turn. 220 hit points. He's cool. Grass. Stunfisk again. Reboot. Hop. Four for four. Here we go. Two Do more. It. Two, Two more. more. I mean, four Two for four more. on white codes. And those are those are great pulls so far. <laughs> I mean, two Vs. Galarian Obstagoons are all over. Oh, my God. Five. I swear that we didn't we didn't rig these packs at all. Five white codes. We ha this, these packs are not rigged. We're not playing this up. No, no. This is listen, man. We <laughs> I don't try hard. We enough. loaded we loaded the packs beforehand the, I don't, for the hype. I don't try hard enough to load the packs. <laughs> <laughs> we loaded the packs. Not. The last pack is the gold dog. Mm -hmm. For sure. If this one's a gold dog, it's rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> we rigged it. It's rigged. It's loaded rigged. packs. <laughs> it's rigged. All right. So score bunny, T, Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian now. Snom. I love Snom. Oh, no Mori way. Yeah. No way. Center Lady Sea King Hitmonchan. More Pico V. Three Pokemon. Well, I think it's safe to say you beat Jesse Parker's. Uh, oh, pulls. man. Three Pokemon yeah, V. Yeah. Insane. Ooh. I didn't realize how much that match mattered. What? <laughs> it's insane. Jesse would be back here. Getting these insane pulls. Crazy Jesse was he was pulls. like he wanted this card so bad. I, I can't know. wait to bring that out to him. Oh yeah, just show both that around. Unless he's like in chat or something, like watching, but he's probably not. He's probably crying over his uh sword <laughs> or shield dog. Shield dog. I was so hyped when he pulled the dog, I was like, that's the one! And no, he's not. like, no. it's the wrong oh. dog. Alright, here we go. We were five for five. There's no way you go for six for six. Oh. Oh. Uh it's you know what? I mean, can't, you can't, five, can't win them all. <laughs> I mean, five or six, that's passing, right? It's a I'd passing grade. It's definitely it's a passing grade. Yes. Shelter, Krogon, Cobra, Rev Hall, Switch, Corbinite, Water, Gear, okay. Wudo, Elder Goss. We'll just give one. We'll give one to the chat. There it is. Here you go, chat. Gracias, Owen. Take one on me. There you go. Thank you so much, Owen. And uh, thank you for sharing your uh, your pulls with us, man. I hope they were very in. hype. <laughs> they were. I, dude, that is going to be amazing. Thank you so much, Owen, for uh, sharing us a little bit of story about your tournament and uh, showing off your pulls there. And uh, congrats on the sick reps, man. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it for the Sword and Shield Midnight pre-release here at Full Grip Games. Thank you all so much for watching. It's 2 a.m., and uh, time for bed for me. Thank you all for a great evening filled with Pokemon fun. There were a ton of crazy pulls tonight. This was the best pulls I have ever seen in a pre-release across the board. Owen got insane pulls. We've got a ton of Pokemon Vs opened out of every single kit, it seemed. Every kit we opened here on stream had something in it. And it was just an awesome, awesome night. And I can't wait for the pre-release that uh, I'm going to be playing in tomorrow. We also got a pre-release coming up on Wednesday instead of our 
League tournament at Full Group Games. We're going to have another Sword and Shield pre-release that we're streaming this upcoming week. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to check out FullGroupGames.com. We've got Sword and Shield pre-orders up now for singles on FullGroupGames.com. We also have pre-orders for Sword and Shield PTCGO code, so you can get them guaranteed emailed to you before the release date of Sword and Shield. Thank you guys all for the subs, the gifted subs, the bits, and the follows, and an all-around amazing evening. Hope you all have a great night, and I'll catch you back here Monday night for some Sword and Shield tabletop testing with Jesse Parker, continuing on with uh, just figuring out this new Sword and Shield standard format. Hopefully you all have a great night and take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Peace.